Good morning. We're doing a get ready with me. We haven't done it in so we haven't done one in so so long. And I decided that I'm in a good mood. I woke up today. I feel fresh. I feel like I want to talk about things. And um, I feel like it's also a great opportunity to show you a little bit of my latest like skincare and makeup and go-to's because I haven't done an organic one in a very long time. So let's get to it. I hope your day is going well. Let me just reposition this camera because you are not, you are not where I want you to be. Okay, wonderful. Let's start with washing the face. It's been a nice morning. You know why? Because I meditated and my kids didn't drive me crazy because I meditated. I was like, mm, you're not going to break this right now. So we're feeling good. Feeling fresh. We are at the end of mid-August now. Kids are starting school soon. I'm so excited. They're going to a new school. It's gonna be great. But I'm excited for them to start school because this summer break has been really going for a very long time. Um, we are in the midst of... What am I doing right now? No. So my skin has been going through um, a bit of an adjustment. I had a little breakouts happening, but I think a lot of it is from stress. So let me take you through a little morning with me. While I was talking, my face got really dry, so I always kind of freshen it up with some rose water. And then one thing that has changed my skincare routine forever was vitamin C. I've been an avid user of the SkinCeutical C Ferolic and I use it every single day. I feel like it really is what helps my skin feel glowy and fresh. It just brings out that like ding in my skin. What I like to do is Oh, just tap it in and not apply anything until it has a bit of a stickiness to it to really feel like it's soaking in okay it's getting there it's getting there I feel like as I'm getting older I'm less affected with all these like skincare trends and all these constantly new products that are coming out and I'm sticking to what works for me it obviously changes with seasons although i live now in miami so it's pretty consistent but i remember in canada i was changing it twice a year depends on the weather okay sticky see this is what i'm talking about going in with some eye cream so i actually don't use eye cream at night which is interesting because i remember when i was talking to my facial lady my esthetician she told me that sometimes when we use eye cream at night it can actually make our eye area a bit poofy i've noticed that that does happen to me so i actually stopped using it at night but i use it every morning so i'm currently using the illuminating eye cream from tata harper what i love about this product is the fact that it has this kind of pearly finish to it so it brings light into the eye area and you want to tap it gently around the eyes i have been kind of skipping on sleep lately because there's always something going on in our house jake decided that he doesn't want to sleep with ben anymore in the same room so now he sleeps downstairs and he sometimes like not wakes up to just say hey what's up same for uh, maxi who just like misses me so much at night that he just gets out of his room opens the door and just like mama and i have to come back and put him back down okay so as you can see it kind of adds a little bit of shine to it which is great we need a bit of a reflection you know from any darkness that's happening here and then i am gonna go in with this absolute serum so i usually don't double serum i would use my vitamin c in the morning and then usually do something that is more hydration based at night but i feel like i want to waking it a little bit so actually i don't know if that's the right thing to do one second okay, yeah so i'm gonna use this lancome um absolute serum which is derived from the rose and it has really nice smell but also brings this like calmness to my skin i can't explain it so i'm all about it i'm always looking for whatever is gonna like plump up and make my skin feel really really dewy another thing that i feel like has been happening for me is that i don't really like 
applying any foundation or makeup i feel like now it looks so heavy on my skin that i really prefer to make sure that my skincare is on top of its game and then not use a lot of makeup okay i'm gonna go to my moisturizer this is the reparative moisturizer from tata harper this is super lightweight it really works with my skin i have sensitive dry skin so i always look for something that agrees with my skin and doesn't irritate it okay skincare is done usually it obviously takes longer because i don't talk that much to myself by the way this is like a personal struggle i don't know what's going on with my eyebrows before i was actually using this like benefit brow this one the brow thingy and i think that it made me lose brow hair which is a problem because my brows don't grow so each and every hair counts you know and now i just have kind of like like i never had this before I'm considering to maybe do microblading or powder brows or something because this is just really sad for me. Okay, once I'm done with my skincare, I go to my SPF. These days, my SPF is my foundation, is the last step in my skincare routine and the first step of my makeup routine. I'm absolutely obsessed with this Elastin Skincare Sunscreen. I got it from my esthetician. She introduced me to this and I never looked back. It is on the pricier side, but it's been serving me really, really well. So I apply it to my hand and it has a bit of a tint. And what it also has, it has this beautiful blurring and a bit of a shine effect to the skin so it actually doesn't require anything else on the skin except a bit of a concealer i call this like post facial skin you see it has like the glow i feel like i haven't found something like this on the market in a long time that uh, blends really well with my makeup but also uh, protects the skin and has like the right finish i know before i was using the super goop uh the one that has a bit of a sheen to it but um it started kind of irritating my skin so i moved away from it so now i'm all about this look i already have a new one waiting for me once this one is done i get them on amazon i feel i feel weird i feel like i need to like open up and tell you about all the things that's going on in my life but also i just want to do a beauty video i feel like i haven't done one in so long so i've been loving this code 8 concealer and w15 is my shade i feel like people ask that and i never know uh, what i like about it it has this like sponge to it so i just twist the thingy and then it comes out the only areas i use concealer in is here to brighten it up here because I do have some redness happening and then on the sides of my mouth. Then I like to go in with my finger to blend it in because I feel like with the warmth of your finger, it blends better when, with your skin. I remember I used to do like concealer all the way, just like doing a full on stride, but you know what? It doesn't work well for me anymore. There's more creasing. And this way I feel like it lifts the eye when I apply it here and then it brightens this area which is basically what I need. Today we have a pretty chill day actually. Um, I'm staying at home, I'm shooting, I have meetings all afternoon and then the kids are coming back from camp and we're back on the grind again. Let's go to the brows. I'm just now sticking to CoverGirl. Uh, this is the soft blonde ultra fine, fine pencil and what i focus on is very much just like brightening not brightening filling in all the holes i have in my brows and in my heart i go through these so fast thank god they're so affordable i actually saw a video of mine from like two years ago or something and my brows were so defined it's amazing to see the evolution of the brows Depends on what's trending, you know? I saw like a little hair here and I was like, is this my brow? But no, it's just a little fuzz. I feel like I really don't want to do micro needling, but also what's gonna save me here? Like the idea of micro needling, micro blading, whatever it's called, doesn't sit well with me. Okay. Okay. I can't figure out if this is working or not. Let's move on. Another product that I am so happy with 
with recently is this Le Beige Water Fresh Blush from Chanel. This is their new product. Um, I've used their Water Fresh uh, Tint, which is amazing, amazing. And I actually got one, but I didn't get the right color, so I'm gonna return and try to get my color. But this is the same thing, but just with blush. So it literally feels like a watercolor on your skin. And it has like such a subtle, beautiful little tint to it. Like, look at this. This is the light peach, which I love using on like during the day just for a little flush of color. And like I mentioned, like creates this beautiful little sheen and glow around. Done. And honestly, that's basically all I use during the day. Is this done direct? No, I don't like this. Ew. I'm obsessed with this. This is like a throwback Lancome Juicy Tubes original. I'm loving a little pop of gloss lately, especially when my hair is up and I don't have to think about things getting stuck to it. I feel like a lot of people in North America used to use it back in high school. Well, it's coming back. A little hack that I started doing, instead of using translucent powder, I moved to, these br to this brush on block. This is mineral sunscreen, and it basically is a powder, and it does an amazing job with neutralizing any shine that we don't want, but also a bit of an extra sun protection, especially when it's so sunny here. Wow, wow, she did the most. Even with going out, like I'm usually using either the sunscreen or this Jonas Road, which has been very controversial by the way. I've seen some TikToks on it and it's interesting, so I really wanted to try. This is definitely a moisture tint and very like Vaseline based, but if you want that like really fresh glowy look, this has been pretty amazing and I wanted to test it out in Miami weather because that's the ultimate test so every time I wear it I actually get carded which is really interesting like the first time I didn't make the connection and the second time I'm like hmm ha. okay let's get dressed because I have a call in 15 minutes okay so like I mentioned I am working from home today uh, but I am gonna be on calls visually like cameras on I'm not interested in going back to the work from home where we're sitting in sweatpants like those days are done for me like truly so I am obviously gonna wear something that I'm very excited about we are launching our suiting on Varie actually by the time the video is out it's already gonna be live if you follow me on Instagram you see that I really love these like structured office wear but like styled cool and I just really wanted to come out with my own like fit that I know that I love I used to buy so many trousers and especially like vintage ones and from like commercial stores and I would go into the seamstress and like fix them to fit how I want them to fit so this is basically my like dream fit so we came out with both blazers just in two colors in like this beautiful like yellow and in a bluish gray today I'm gonna be doing the yellowish just feeling like sunshine you know I'm gonna be wearing the shorts today I need a shirt I have my white t-shirt now I just need my by the way every time I do outfit of the day and I post them everyone asks me about this bra this is skims and I truly live in it they're doing it right I must say let me change I'm gonna be wearing a blazer in my house, okay? I don't care. She's a working woman. The one thing that I truly have difficulty with these days is my hair, because I cut it, because I'm like, hmm, let's try something different. And you know what? I'm not loving it. I'm not gonna lie. So I have to figure this out, which actually I can do pretty quickly. A lifesaver. What did I do before you? I do not know. I love her. And I'm actually gonna pair it with my sneakers to make it a bit more work from home ready for pickup day. What is really good actually with this length is that I can kind of control it so much faster because with long hair, it was hard. I love how I said I'm gonna put a lip gloss because my hair is gonna be up. <laughs> 
and it's not. That's who we are. We're just like ever flowing, ever changing, you know? One minute she wants it up, the other she wants it down. Just embrace it. I also posted this like caption about it. I was so sentimental this morning and like so deep in my thoughts that I posted this like huge ass caption about the ebbs and flows. And I'm really proud of it, by the way. I don't know if you're into, if you're going to like an ebb, which I feel like usually when we're starting to be like, what's wrong, what's going on with me? Because I feel like it's truly an art of like living to know when to recognize when you are in the flow and really capitalize on it and like, you know, enjoy it to the fullest. And then also know how to approach yourself when you're in the ebb of things. Because that's just cyclical. That's like part of life. Look at me doing her hair and talking about life and its mysterious ways. Is this put together? Hmm. You know what? It is. This is totally acceptable. And she looks cute. Effortless with a blazer. I love this for me. Let me put the shoes on to show you how it looks because it's cute. Then I go all like, weren't you wearing socks? I will wear socks. I just want to see how it looks first. Oh, this is cute. Let me show you my kid. Cute. What is this on the floor? I hope it's not poo. And you see my toilet, like, literally all refined YouTuber over here. Okay. Okay guys, I'm running out for my call. I'm still very indecisive about the hair, I'm not gonna lie. This has been a chaotic get ready with me, don't you agree? Uh, let me know if you have any questions, what you wanna see, uh, you know how it goes. And all the products that I used, I'm gonna link in my description box. Why is this Tuesday feels like a Monday?